time to construct the control plane. Inside the NS6 architecture, control plane consists of three NS6 controller. I want to show you how to deploy them. First of all, you should log in into the vSphere environment and go to the networking and security one of the old name of um, NS6 product okay we have um, many information about our uh, NS6 environment in integration with the vSphere and uh, you can see there is an uh, unprepared cluster inside the vSphere environment there is nothing of NS6 component inside the vSphere and go to the installation upgrade you can watch the status of NS6 manager and go to the NS6 controller node and edit the value of common controller attribute include DNS servers, DNS suffix and NTP servers and also syslog server if you want to collect the syslog information inside the monitoring server for example I choose UDP and log level information then save and go to the adding wizard of controller set the password for the admin credential of the NS6 controller then you should Fill all related information, include the name of controller, choose the data center and host, and, and networking. But uh, first of all, you should provide a, a new IP pool. We have also an import option, and then provide the IP address range. and check the IP pool details select it and finish the wizard to complete the controller deployment you should know you cannot provide all type of characters as the name of the N6 controller let it deploy it and then check the OVF deployment wizard. Okay, it's done. Let's go to the VM. As I told you in the previous uh, video part, you should uh, deploy at least uh, three NS6 controller to build the cluster and uh, it's ready to configure the NS6 controller. In the next part, I will show you what option we have inside the NS6 controller and then we will talk about the distribute logical rotor or DLR.